Thousands of people are expected to attend the taste, and besides all of the great food and live music, it's one of the largest fundraisers for the Tippecanoe Arts Federation. News 18's Krista Henry paints us a picture of how proceeds from the event help fund the local art scene. You kind of go to an altered state of consciousness when you're making art. You're outside of your identity as a mom or a, a, an office worker or, you know, whatever of the other relationships that you have. You step out of those and you just get connected with yourself. On most days, you could find Stacy Bogan in her studio painting away. I do a lot of pastel because it's portable and it's easy to use. I also use acrylics, um, oils. I do some uh, graphite work, ink work. Bogan found her love and passion for art back in high school. Since then, she's become a talented artist who shares her passion and talent with the greater Lafayette community. We're a gem, I think. I like Lafayette. I think, I think we, we kind of shine. I mean, you look around and there are things happening. And one of the area's largest events is happening this weekend when downtown Lafayette will go from looking like this to looking like this. Thousands of people are expected to come out for the 34th annual Taste of Tippecanoe this Saturday. With everything from food, drinks, live music, and fireworks, it's all for a good cause. The Taste is the largest fundraising event for the Tippecanoe Arts Federation, also known as TAF. And it increases the awareness of the Tippecanoe Arts Federation. And then there's the practical issue of the funding. That building doesn't fund itself, you know, it's, it's got to be maintained. Events have to be supported and they're a resource for the artist. But Bogan says TAF isn't only a resource for artists, it's a resource for the whole greater Lafayette community. Something she says wouldn't be possible if it weren't for fundraising events like the Taste of Tippecanoe. Tippecanoe Arts also succeeds in being intergenerational. You know, they bring in children, they bring in families, they connect seniors, they connect businesses, they're, they're, and they connect communities. So having that hub is critical to making things work. You can watch a one-hour live special broadcast from The Taste starting at 6 p.m. Saturday right here on WLFI. Reporting from Tippecanoe County, Krista Henry, News 18.